Okay, now, so this is how you insert a table in Microsoft Word. Now, there are many ways of doing this, okay, but this is the most popular and the most uh, easiest way, okay. So, we'll go and insert, go into the insert tab, and then you have table, and then just drag onto this and see how big you want the table to be, okay. So, it's, it's giving you rows and columns. Let's say I want to have three rows and three columns. There you go that's it okay and this over here is where you can hold the table the entire table and move it around okay this over here is basically if you want to change the size of the table okay of course there are other ways of changing the size and we go through that and when you want to type something inside, it's just like normal typing to Microsoft Word. For example, let's say I say serial number, serial number, name, and department. Okay. How do you move from one cell to the other? To the other, you press the tab key, and as you press the tab key, it'll keep on moving to the next cell. Okay. Once you come to the last cell, press the tab key again. And automatically you will have a new row again go to the last one keep pressing tab to the last in the last cell and then you will have a new row there is another way of adding rows and columns and the way you do that is you just click let's say I want to have another column before the name before this column so I'll click over here and within the layout you have insert okay so you have rows and columns within this you have for example you want to insert a column to the left click on this one or let's say you want to insert it to the right let me undo this I can say okay insert one to the right and there you go okay let me undo that okay let's enter some data serial number one I'll say okay Ahmed and department is HR number two I have this one into the accounts three okay so you keep on pressing tab okay now if you want to change the size of the column okay one way of doing that is you just click over here it come right on the border of this line and you would see that the mouse changes okay press it and you can drag it to the left okay so let me do that for this one also press and drag it to the right and another way of doing the same thing is you click in the column, anywhere in the column, okay? And again, you have these two extra menus that you get when you create a table. If you click, click outside, that menu disappears, okay? So if you click inside, you have the menu, okay? So within the layout, you have the height and the width. So basically, we are currently uh, we want to reduce the width of this column so I'm just going to there you go okay that's another way of reducing the or changing the size of a column how do we delete the additional rows and columns okay so we will come to that how do you delete the extra rows and columns okay now whenever you're resizing remember if something is highlighted like this okay and you try to change the width of the column let's say it's highlighted and now I come over here and I drag it let me do that again it's highlighted and I come over here and I change this okay so only that size will change and this is not usually the result you want okay so I'm going to do an undo so it'll take me one step back there you go okay now just click anywhere inside so that the highlight goes away now if you want you can just you know change it change the size and now it will do it for the whole column okay now 
once you bring your mouse right to the top, you have this plus sign. Of course, the previous versions do not have this, but the newer versions like uh, Office 365 or Word 365 has this. Um, you have this plus sign. If you press this, it will insert a column. Okay, same goes for the rows. Let me click here. Um, let me click over here and I press the plus sign and I have a new row. Okay, now if you want to delete the row, you can click anywhere in the row. Okay, you don't have to highlight the row. And again, come into the layout option or the layout tab and then you have the delete option. Click on delete and you have delete rows. Let's say you want to delete more than one row. Now what you need to do is you need to highlight those rows and then go into the layout option or the layout tab, click on delete and then you can say delete the rows. Okay. Same goes for the column. Let's say I want to get rid of this column. You don't have to highlight the whole column. All you need to do is just click over here in the column and again within the layout click on delete and say delete column and the column goes away okay now now if you want to change the the width and the height for example another way of doing that is let's say I want to make it a little bigger I can just come over here pull this down and that is how big I want it to be and once you have done this you have within the layout tab you have distribute rows if you click on this one it will automatically distribute distribute your rows okay so it will do the spacing for you okay now within a cell if you want to do the alignment of your text click on it and then within alignment okay again this is in the layout option you have nine positions now, it depends where you want to place your text Okay, let's say I want to have it right in the center of the cell. So I'm going to click on this one. Now, let's say I want to have all of these right over here in the center of my cell. Okay, horizontally and vertically. Okay, and I would like to do this for all of these like so. Okay, now for this one, I would like to have it left aligned. There you go. Okay, now if I press the tab, Again, this one will be taking the same uh, formatting or the same alignment as I have done in the previous one. Okay, if you want to do some shading and if you want to shade a cell or color it, um, I usually use a shading because most of the printers we have are black and white. Okay, so I uh, generally discourage using colors. Okay, so if you want to shade a cell or let's say you want to shade a row, you can just highlight. And within the table settings or this table design, you have borders. Okay, you can just so you have shading, and of course, you can do it from here also. You have shading and fill it with a shade, it can be this one. And I'll say apply this to the cell. There you go. Okay. Similarly, um, if you would like to use one of these options in the table design, for example, you have table styles and you can just highlight and you can, you know, just use one of these. Okay. If that is, if, if it's a colored one you want. Okay. Then, of course, you can apply these settings. For example, you can just play around with these settings and see how you like them. Let's say header rows. Okay. You can just toggle and it will remove the the highlighting from the or the the color uh, from the header row okay same goes for the first column let's say you don't want on the first column um, let's say i do not want to have banded rows okay so you can just play around with the settings and see what you like now sometimes what you want to do is you want to split a cell okay let's say for any reason let's say i want to split this one into two uh, cells I'm going to click here okay and you go into the layout option within the layout you have split cells click on split cells and it will ask you how many rows and columns do you want let's say I want to have three row three columns okay one row that's fine say okay 
There you go. Okay. Uh, similarly, let's say you want to have a heading for, for your table. And for that, you, you first need to insert a row. So I'll go into the layout, insert above. And over here, I'm going to say my data, for example. And then what I can do is highlight the entire cells. And what I need to do is I need to merge this or make that all into one cell. So I'm going to highlight the whole thing and I'm going to click on merge cells. And there you go, it merges all the cell, makes it uh, into one cell. Now over here, what I can do is I can just make that bold and I will align it in the center of my cell horizontally and vertically. So that's how you do that, okay? So here's a pro tip on how to make a table. Okay, this is, um, let's say you wanna use the keyboard to make a table. So what you need to do is first press the plus sign and keep on pressing dash. Okay, this is how big you want the column to be. Plus again, and then keep on pressing the dash. And let's say I want the name to be so big, or this column to be so big. Plus again, and my last column is going to be for example so big plus again as soon as you press enter it will create a table for you okay so this is just a pro tip tip if you want to you know show this off to your friends or something if you want to delete the entire table of course you can click anywhere inside go into table design sorry into layout and within this you can just say delete the entire table and it goes away okay okay now this basically takes care of working within a table now let's say you have some data and this data is basically separated by a tab okay and you'd like to convert all of these into a table okay so the first thing you do is you highlight the whole table or the text that you have written and Go to the insert option. Within the insert option, you have table. Click on table and say convert text to table. Once you click on this one, it will ask you how is your data organized? How is the separation between the different columns? And since I have done it, uh, I've separated using tabs. I'm going to select tab over here and just say OK. Okay, and it automatically converts it into a table. Now, what if I have the same data, but I have separated the data using commas? Okay, again, it's the same procedure, just highlight, go into insert, within insert you have table, within table you say convert text to table, and over here, by default, it will recognize the comma option, Okay, which is fine, and I'll say okay. Okay, and let's take another example. Okay, now I have a table, and I want to convert this one into text. Okay, so I'm going to click anywhere, and once I click inside, I get these two options or these two um, tabs. Click on the layout option and right in the layout option on the right side you will have convert to text. Again, use tabs, okay? Or if you want commas, you can select commas. I'll just say tab. Say okay. And there you go. Any other questions? Uh, no, thank you. That'll be it. Okay, thank you very much and I'll see you all in the next video.